So it's season 22 and that's season of the witch. In this video, I'll go over how season of the witch works, how the core mechanics and game loop works. So you can jump into the game and get the most out of the season. So obviously at the very beginning, you'll have a series of missions that you need to go through, right? Complete those. And then you're gonna have two core activities during the season. One of those is Savathun Spire. Savathun Spire is really a three player match made offensive activity. We're gonna be doing some basic mechanics against bosses and loosen hive and other enemies. There's a couple core mechanics in there that you'll have to learn. There are arc crystals that you basically have to punch and then go on the, go look on the map and you'll see other areas where you can punch and complete like a circle of different arc crystals. And then there's solar crystals where you have to pick up the crystal and deposit a new area. The problem is ads are coming to you during that time and it's damaging you. So you'll have to keep that in mind. The other activity is the altar summoning. And this is kind of a cool activity. It's again, three players. But in this case, what you're going to be doing is you get these offerings that are tiered. Think of something like blind well, where you can increase the difficulty, but increase the loot that you're going to get. So you put those in any player on a fire team can do that. And it's instant. So it's not like the blind well, where you have to kind of run up into it. It's in its own instance, but you do that. And again, you have to do some of the same mechanics you have to do before, but you get increasingly better loot depending on how you do it. So again, that's the key difference. Sabbath Inspire is more of a, just a, a general three player matchmaking activity. This one's almost like blind well, but it's instanced. Once you unlock everything, you're gonna have the typical things where you go and you listen to messages and you know little cutscenes and things like that. But within the helm, there's gonna be an area you open up and that's the Athenaeum. I'm probably mispronouncing that. And that has two areas within it. One is the lectern of divination and one is the ritual table. The ritual table is like what you typically have in most seasons. It's where you level up kind of your, that's your vendor and you level it up and you can get rewards off of that, right? You can also do focusing and focusing armor and weapons on that particular, on the ritual table. The lectern of divination is a little bit different in that they've taken some of the upgrades you would typically do within the vendor and they put them on this area. So there's two things, there's opaque cards. Opaque cards you get through playing any activity. These give you basically buffs, right? These are the upgrades you would typically have on the vendor, right? And it looks like these are on a schedule, so they will open up over time. In addition, you get major arcana cards, and these happen as you're progressing the story throughout the season. With these, you're basically, these were unlock quests, and then these quests unlock these cards. So basically, you, you, you get this card, you do the quest, that basically gives you these cards that if you get five of them, then it allows you to have a random one put on your character as a special ability as you're doing these events. So it's an interesting little different twist than what they've done historically. There are also which keys that you can actually get as you're playing activities throughout the system. You can also get them off the upgrade path for the ritual table. These allow you to get additional loot. Now I will tell you, one of the things of all these activities, they drop a ton of loot. They not only drop a ton of loot, but they also drop these offerings. Then you could take these offerings and go back to the altar of summoning and just continuously try to get new rewards. Again, very similar to what you would see um, within the blind well, right? Within the dreaming city. So very similar mechanics. So again, a little bit different twist to the seasonal system this season, but in, in summary, advance each week, the seasonal activity story. That'll give you the major cards, which give you buffs during playing these two activities, and then continue to play the game to get the opaque cards, which build out your deck of whispers, which give you the upgrades for your vendor. And obviously keep going back to the ritual table to get those upgrades. So again, you can continue to go in and get stuff off the, off the pass as it goes from level one to 16 and resets, but also to focus armor and weapons. And that's the video guys. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my discord, and I'll see you guardians in the tower.